Hey, beautiful tribe. It's Pink Bella. Happy new day. Let me just see if I can. I don't know if that'll go away or not. Hi, everyone. So this is an impromptu live on YouTube. It is the 24th of April. And if I don't see your comments, um, I will reply later, but this is totally impromptu. So welcome everyone. Welcome to all my new subscribers. And I haven't done a YouTube live for quite a while, but I'm on a roll today. I just did a Facebook live. I just uploaded a video on Instagram TV and here I am. Hi. So if you haven't had a chance to check out the energy update um, yet from yesterday, it's a collective energy update with uh, masculine and feminine chakra messages because some really cool stuff came in. There's messages for star seeds and what's happening right now. But I had, I had an unbelievable morning that I wanted to share with all of you. Like it was huge. It was huge. So if those of you who are uh, new, I'll just share a little bit about my journey. Um, my name is Pink Bella. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, I am a way shower and I assist many souls, twin flames, star seeds, light workers, all beautiful beings who are on soul mission all around the planet. And I'm so grateful. One of the um, gifts that was given to me about a year and a half ago was to assist my personal journey with Akashic healing and clearing of timelines and to offer those in sessions for all of you. So I have been doing lots of personal clearing like many of you have for a long time. And I had this huge um, epiphany this morning about an Egyptian timeline and I wanted to share that with all of you because for my personal journey, it's connected to my soul mission, it's connected to my earth star. And um, I actually shifted one of my sessions today to assist all of you as well because of what happened with me. So I'll, I'll go back a little bit. So my journey actually did start um, in Egypt. I went on a trip. I was traveling to live in Australia in the 90s, pre-internet. <laughs> so I've been around for a while. And um, I had a massive download at the pyramids and the Sphinx, but I didn't know what happened. And what happened was I had a huge download from my Kashuk records. And um, when I went to live in Australia, I completely changed. So it would equate to what some people would call either a massive uh, Kundalini awakening, a download of your higher self. Um, I, I feel like I received a lot of starseed galactic information at that time, but it took me quite a few years to process it. I, it would also equate to maybe some people feeling like they've had a walk-in. So when I arrived in Australia after that trip, I was completely different. I needed, to, I was vegan. Like suddenly I, I couldn't eat or drink anything the way I normally would. I knew about crystals. Where are they? I wanted to know, remember more about crystals. I studied aromatherapy. I changed everything. So when I came back to Canada, I was completely different. And uh, my family was like, who are you? I spent two years wandering around trying to fit in, trying to remember what had happened. And finally, I went for a reading in uh, 1997 with a beautiful soul who uh, knew about starseeds, and she explained to me what had happened. So um, I read Bringers of the Dawn and by Barbara Manciniak, and it all started to fall into place. Fast forward to the rest of my life, that, got, that part got shut down. Forgot all about being a starseed. Um, I knew I was a light worker. I knew I was a healer. I studied Reiki and uh, crystals and essential oils. But my day job was I was in the corporate world. I was an IT project manager and I was, you know, studying all of this on the side. Fast forward to um, 2007, it was time for that door to close. Um, I didn't know that. I kept trying to go back to the corporate world for, for two years until it was made very clear to me that it wasn't, um, it was no longer time for me to be uh, on that timeline. But I learned so much and I prepared for all of you and I'm grateful. The starseed information, okay, so let's fast forward. So I found out about being a twin flame and knowing about twin flames in 2010. However, um, there wasn't a lot of information on the planet about twin flames at that point. There was, it was very vague. So I ended up being one of the original twin flame way showers to start to channel information in. That happened after I met my twin flame and we had an activation. So I and uh, that connection is 6,000 miles apart. So my telepathy, my uh, abilities really opened up after that. I became Pink Bella and I started my channel and that's sort of that's where I am right now. So I helped Twin Flames and Starseeds and everyone around the world. Now the Starseed connection came back to me around the June solstice in 2017 
and I didn't want to talk about star seeds, but I was very connected to my team and my higher self, and they kept bringing me messages about, you know, sharing about star seeds, and I was like, I don't want to talk about star seeds. However, it's time now, and it's a really cool time because that word is an activation, and it's helping a lot of souls remember about being a multi-dimensional being. So that's where the star seed information comes in. And what I realized today is there's many other souls out there on channels that are bringing in a lot of technical starseed information and I could do that but I'm, I've always been a liaison so I always bring in I channel in the technical information and I bring it to you all in very simple um, form so it makes sense and it's like you know it's peaceful and and it feels good and it that sort of thing so here we are now so the messages that started to come in yesterday is January of this year during the eclipse season we started to receive divine feminine energy from source, from the galactic center, from the, our great central sun, and from our sun. However, we're also receiving activations from the Sirius star system. And that's the, uh, there's more information on the um, video from yesterday. But the um, what's become apparent is we're ramping up now and receiving more and more of those activations to prepare for the lion's gate, the, which will be the 8-8 portal in August. So that's opening up our cosmic heart. It, this is the center right here. That's opening up our compassion, our abilities, um, all sorts of things. So what's happening to get to this is a lot of detoxing. So we're in a detox process right now that's really going to ramp up um, more and more each portal. So we have a portal in May, the 5-5 portal. We have a portal in June, the 6-6 portal plus the solstice. We have the 7-7 seven, seven portal in July is going to be key not just for twin flames, but for all of us, especially if we feel connected as a star seed, for receiving activations and downloads from the Sirius star system, okay? And then the 8-8 portal. So how is this all connected? The Sirius star system is actually very connected to the Egyptian timelines and the Egyptian mystery schools. So that was one, one message that came through today. So what happened for me was, and this will be something that's either going on in your reality right now or it's going to be, the patterns in our reality to clear are connected to the Akashic Records. The Akashic Records are connected to our chakra system, okay? So we come in with specific patterns to clear, and we think we've cleared them, because I've been clearing timelines to do with Egypt, Atlantis, Lemuria. I've been clearing galactic timelines nonstop since 2014, and very deeply since the beginning of 2018. And this is why I offer um, Akashic Healing sessions, okay? So what happened today was I woke up and there's been a pattern that reappeared into my reality, which I thought I had cleared. So I woke up this morning and I was I had to dig deep. My higher self actually said, you, you have to meditate now and, and connect in and we'll give you information. So the message that came in was it was connected to this timeline, the Egyptian timeline, which I thought I had cleared. So the other message that came in today was P, the term PTSD post-traumatic stress disorder, which is a term from this lifetime, from this reality. But I didn't, ex I haven't experienced that in this lifetime. But, but what I realized when I scanned my body is there was all this stress and trauma that was trapped in energy centers in my body. And my higher self said, you have PTSD. And I was like, well, where did that come from? <laughs> it came from a timeline in Egypt. So as multidimensional beings, these timelines are still running until we clear, we clear them. We have an aspect of ourselves that's in that timeline. So I was experiencing a traumatic incident today from an aspect of myself in this timeline. I know it's mind-blowing. That's why I'm here. <laughs> so I had to connect in and bring the energy down from source through all my chakras, find out which chakras this, was, this trauma was in, clear it. I also went to my Kashuk records, cleared it there. I called home that aspect of myself and I cleared and sealed that timeline. The stress immediately left my body. It was amazing. So I now, um, I put a little message in the community bar today because I now shifted the emerald green Akashic ray session. I have quite a few of them, but that's the one that I'd offered for Twin Flames. So I've switched that right now to also be for your personal journey and to clear things like childhood trauma, PTSD, um, things from other timelines, Egypt, Atlantis, Lemuria, Galactic, um, things that you know that you might be carrying around in your body and you've been trying to clear, that's what an Akashic session is for. So um, that's what I shifted today, and I wanted to share that all with you as well.
Um, the other thing that came in was the chakras that I've been uh, sharing about because we've been going through a lot of head expansion. So third eye crown. There's another third eye portal back here and it's the divine feminine third eye and it's connected to the divine feminine third eye from the Egyptian mystery schools. That came, another piece of the puzzle came t through a way shower to me for that. So I wanted to just share that with all of you that that I've had <laughs> cleared and unified and brought all those aspects back to myself um, to assist all of you. So that's going to be part of some of the new sessions going forward. And who knew um, that, you know, we still... So the trauma that I went through, I didn't actually go into what happened. Because guess what? It probably wasn't good. <laughs> I'm sure it didn't end well, but it got locked in my body. So these, and I'm getting goosebumps. I know this is true. So these are um, experiences when we incarnated, we went and grabbed all of our Akashic record information that was um, uh, biological through our parents, through the bloodline, ancestral lines, through every single time we've ever been on this planet, including Atlantis and Lemuria and core wounds that we came in to clear. So today I hit a core wound. And I remember thinking fear and stress and anxiety makes us want to run a fight or flight, right? So I was asking myself, well, where did this come from? I cleared, I cleared so much fear during the twin flame connection. So I was like, where did this come from? So I needed to face it and find out where it was from. So the fact that I, I was faced with, this was a core portion, a core wound that I came in to clear for Egypt for all the other timelines because it kept repeating itself. And it came up to trigger me again recently in the last week. And um, so I, that's one of the main things that I came in to clear. So there might be some things for all of you that you came in to clear. And this is why I do the work that I do in my share um, and others do the work as well. For years, I went to healers to find out pieces of the, of the puzzle too. So some of you might be called to... Um, connect with me because I will have a piece of the puzzle and a tool for you and vice versa. Okay. So I wanted to share that. That was part of it. Yes. The, we are going through a massive head expansion, opening up more of the pineal pituitary glands. Uh, one, one beautiful soul out there said, do you think that it's growing? Yes, of course. <laughs> all growing so um i still have a little bit of the headache at the back but it it has um dissipated but i had basically had like a migraine for two weeks and i don't get migraines so this has all been preparing me to expand and, and understand more to help all of you as well okay so i wanted to just share that with you so the akashic healing sessions can clear things like ptsd from this lifetime or for other lifetimes they're all just timelines everything's a timeline so if something happened in your childhood that's a timeline. If something happened in another lifetime, that's a timeline. Yes, it can be intense, but you know what? For the most part, I didn't know about this till today. And the reason I wanted to release and let it go was my whole body was just so tense. And I thought, I can't carry this forward with me. I want to be enjoying happiness. So I wanted to just share that all with you, okay? So just so you all know, um, I have many offers on my website, but the Emerald Green Akashic Ray session is on Flash Special today. Um, if you're interested in booking a session, please reach out and do, and I would love to assist you. And I'm sure that you have, um, like I said, a part of the puzzle. We're all, we're all soul tribe. We're all, um, opening up to work together and be, um, a tribe going forward. Okay. So that's what I wanted to share. I think that that's it. I know like, um, the root shot. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so the title of the the title of the video so the two of the uh, chakras that came forward yesterday for both masculine and feminine were the same the earth star so earth star came forward for both masculine and feminine what is the earth star it's a new chakra within the earth that our entire field connects to that is um the earth star is carries our soul mission carries our abundance carries some blueprints if we're moving into 5d but our earth star has trauma like what I just shared with you, because when I scanned my body this morning, it was in my heart chakra, it was in the sacral and the root chakra, and it was also in my earth star. So I go through a process of actually clearing the chakras, but sometimes they have to be replaced and up upgraded. So my earth star needed to be upgraded. Um, this is what, m me being multidimensional and working with my team. So what happened is we're moving more and more into 5D, but sometimes if the earth star is dealing with a whole bunch of this stuff, it's staying on 3D while we're trying to move to 5D. 
So that's one thing that I wanted to share with all of you. The, the Earth Star carries our blueprint for our soul mission. It carries the blueprint for abundance. It carries the blueprint for our um, unions. And if there's stuff clogging it up and hanging in there, it's it's um, allowing us to kind of go around in circles in Groundhog Day. So that's why I do what I do, because um, I'm one of the souls that can share about the different chakras and the new ones that, that are opening up for all of us, okay? So I just wanted to let you all know that the Earth Star came in yesterday because we are, um, we are activating, connecting to the crystalline grid within the earth and moving forward with the next level of our soul mission, our abundance. That's why so many of you are like, oh my God, I have a soul mission. What is it? And that's why I also offer soul mission sessions because your earth star is opening. And with the fact that it came through for both masculine and feminine, it means that everyone is being called up now. And it makes sense. We are in April of uh, 2019. And by 2020, so many of you are going to be on soul mission and it's going to be, be freaking awesome. So um, I just saw some comments, but they've disappeared and I don't know how to get them back on my phone. <laughs> so I will check in with you all later. I just wanted to pop on here really super quick. And um, I hope you're all well. I love you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gratitude for everyone on this channel. And again, if you would like to book a session or reading, please reach out. I have availability. Um, I have one spot available tomorrow and then I have some spots available next week. Everything is via Skype and I do offer phone sessions in North America. So love and aloha, beautiful tribe. Have a great rest of your day and um, I appreciate you all so much. Take care.